question which of the following does not suggest a macro approach for india now what is macro macro means big larger unit like country state world so let's see which is not macro here not macro means you want a micro so let's find out from these sentences which of these qualify for microeconomics a determining the gnp of india gnp of india macro b finding the causes of failure of x and company x and company this is macro or micro yes this is micro this relates to only one unit a single firm so this is our answer micro let's take yes this is the answer next macro economics is called dash economics a applied b aggregate c experimental d none of the above Now, macro economics is called aggregative economics that's the answer now why is it called aggregative economics because we add the incomes the product of all the single units we go on adding and bring an aggregate we develop a aggregate from it so it is called the economics of aggregates next which of the following is a normative statement now what does normative tell me normative gives me a judgment normative tells me how to do it normative gives me an opinion let's see the options a planned economies allocate resources via government departments b most transitional economies have experienced problems of falling output and rising c there is a greater degree of consumer sovereignty in market economies than planned economies d reducing inequality should be a major priority for mixed economy now which of these statement which of these statements tells me how to do it gives me a opinion yes it's the d it is telling me reducing inequality should be a major priority for mixed economies it is telling me what should be done let's check yes that's the answer next an example of positive economic analysis would be a an analysis of relationship between the price of food and the quantity purchased b determining how much income each person should be guaranteed c determining the fair price for food d deciding how to distribute the output of the economy now which of these is an example of positive economics now please remember that positive economics is fact based it does not give you an opinion it does not tell you how and what should be done it only tells you the state it only tells you the status as it is so let's see which of the statement is giving us the status as it as it is yes it's this a an analysis of the relationship between the price of food and the quantity purchased that's the answer under inductive method the logic proceeds from now what is inductive method inductive method is where you go on including where particular instances give you a generalization you go from particular to general so this is the answer i beg your pardon this is the answer let's check particular to general next normative aspect of economics is given by now what is normative normative economics is 
where you give opinion where you uh, tell how it should be done positive only tells you what should be done normative tells you how it should be done so who gave the normative aspect of economics marshall robbins adam smith samuelson it's marshall now how is his definition normative because marshall was the first person who told us economics is about public welfare economics is about social welfare adam smith told us that economics is a study about causes of wealth but marshall told us it is not only study about causes of wealth it is study about human beings it is a study about human welfare it is a study about social welfare how by wealth you can achieve social welfare so it is a ethical view that he is giving us so his definition becomes normative next deductive and inductive methods are complementary to each other it is we just learned this is it absolutely correct or this is absolutely incorrect or partially incorrect or none of the above what is the statement deductive and inductive methods are complementary to each other is this correct yes this is absolutely correct next who gave the positive aspect of science positive aspect who gave you the definition of economics as it is a alfred marshall b p gu c adam smith d robbins it was robbins because he said the economics is neutral between ends economics is not about choosing economics is only about learning about the ends economics does not tell you which want to satisfy it only gives you a list of wants and list of means to satisfy them it does not tell you which want to satisfy and this is the meaning of neutral ends so this definition was given by robbins that's the answer so this completes our segment on the study of economics as a science as an art and the methods of studying economics